Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to do something a little bit different on the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about the carnivore diet. Now I know if you're if you're at this channel you're obviously here for video games but this is something that I've been doing now for a couple of weeks and it has drastically changed the way my body feels and the way I and the way I'm like perceiving things just in general. So Let's get started with this. So since uh, since probably the age of 35, I've been having a little bit harder time um, shedding the, the winter weight. Um, I've been packing on about 20 pounds a year for the last eight years. At uh, my heaviest point, I was up to 335 pounds. Uh, starting this channel definitely didn't help out with that a lot. Like I started, you know, gaining even a little bit more weight because I'm, you know, sitting down a lot more and stuff. But... <sighs> In the last two weeks since I started this carnivore diet, I'm down to 200 or 318 pounds. So that's almost 20 pounds in two weeks that I've been able to lose without doing anything other than eating meat. That, my friends, is absolutely incredible. So let's talk about this for a minute because there's a ton of other benefits aside from just losing weight that you can benefit from doing this first thing I noticed was about three days in I had I, I was starting to get like this this weird chronic like joint pain like my joints hurt and I just felt stiff all the freaking time um, I had this like burning sensation in my leg for the last you know like probably about eight years like I, it, like my leg would just start burning up here on my upper thigh when I was standing when I was standing for long periods of time I tested this today specifically I stood as much as I could today to see if my leg would burn. It didn't burn at all. Like it still feels fine. Like it feels good. I'm, I'm, I wasn't, I'm not experiencing like any of these weird symptoms that I was having before starting this diet. Um, I, I, I definitely feel like my, my, uh, I, I definitely feel more alert for sure. Um, easier to get up in the mornings. I'm having an easier time getting up in the mornings. I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping better too. Like I'm going to bed and I'm, I, I feel rested when I get up in the morning now, like normally I would get up and I would feel groggy. I would literally sit there at the edge of the bed for a while and just, just kind of feel like, Oh man, I don't want to go to work today. And then I would kind of rock myself a little bit to start kind of moving to like, it was getting bad. Like I'm, I'm 43 years old in 10 days. And I was starting to feel pretty dang old. And I'm like, dude, I'm only 40, man. I shouldn't feel this bad. Um, especially because I'd, I'd always lived, you know, a pretty healthy life, you know, like um, a lot of cardio, a lot of exercise and a lot of, lot, of, lot of weight training and stuff like that. I, I was just, I was blown away at just how fast my overall health and quality of life was starting to decline and the only the only difference was i was i was eating more i was eating more carbs and, and and i was eating a lot more of that kind of stuff because uh you know just just you know my work and stuff is and and being on the channel now is just kind of sedentary i'm just sitting there a lot and <laughs> it's kind of weird man so when i started noticing you know these these changes you know of like of like not having like the joint pain, like being able to get up in the morning and be alert when I wake up. That's, that's major for me. Like being able to, to get up, sit up and feel alert and like start moving right away without any kind of like, like uh, just, well, I, I said it a second ago, just like, just like feeling sluggish. Like I don't feel sluggish anymore in the mornings. And when I, when I go to bed, like I can stay up, I can stay up a little bit later. Like, I was up till till midnight watching TV last night and then I went to bed and I woke up this morning feeling just fine. Just fine. Normally I go to bed at 10 o'clock, maybe a little bit after 10 o'clock I'll go lay in bed and I'm, I'm usually, you know, falling asleep and tossing and turning most of the night um, it, because of my shoulder pain. Like I, I have a torn rotator cuff that that like would would if I if I lay on it wrong, it would just keep me tossing and turning. I'm sleeping better. My shoulder doesn't hurt as much as it did before. Like it's, it's starting to feel a little bit more like, like the, like the pain is not as, is not as uh, sharp as it used to be. It's, it's a little more dull now. So it's like, yeah, I can deal with that. 
Uh, the joint pain stuff, man, that is like really, really big for, for a lot of people I hear, like the inflammation and stuff. I've been addicted to uh, ibuprofen and um, I'll switch it off with naproxen, you know, I'll get a bottle of one and, and I'm usually taking, I used to take that stuff every day. Since I started this, I haven't done that. I, I haven't taken any of those pills since I started uh, doing this carnivore diet. Now, one of the other things was I would get headaches. Like I would get headaches at least three times a week. I'd wake up and I'd feel super groggy and sluggish and I'd have a headache. I'd wake up with a headache. I haven't woke up with a headache um, since like the third day in. The third day in was like my last headache with the uh, since, since I've been doing the carnivore diet. Like this is absolutely so many things changing at one time. Um, I haven't I haven't had the I haven't had the uh, I haven't had diarrhea. Um, I guess, I guess a lot of people, when they start doing this, they'll, they'll do that because they're shedding all that, that water and everything, you know, but I, I, I haven't, like I've, I've been able to go from, uh, maybe I had IBS or something or whatever, but I would sit in there for like 25 minutes in the morning. And, you know, part of that was probably just being lazy, but now I'm, I'm done in three minutes. I'm done in three minutes and I'm, and I'm ready to go. I'm starting my day. Um, I haven't had coffee in about, oh, probably nine days now i haven't i haven't drinking any coffee the only uh the only drinks that i've been drinking now other than water are celsius just these like little they're, they're like energy type drinks or whatever just been drinking one of those and in, in the morning instead of the coffee i just i just crack one of those and drink that um that doesn't have it doesn't seem to be having any negative side effects for what i'm doing right now um, the only time I, I notice like, you know, like an uneasy stomach or something is, uh, is when I introduce uh, things other than beef and bacon and eggs, like, I, like I'm doing really good on beef, bacon and eggs. And when I, when I eat chicken, I, I don't feel as satiated as I do when I'm eating beef. Uh, when I eat, um, you know, like pork, like pork chops, stuff like that. Those, those literally do nothing for me. I just, I mean, they're fine if I need to put something in my mouth, but for the most part steak, um, and, and more specifically is they're um it, it's it's like the roast beef like the, the they're like a, not roast beef but um stewing beef so i'll go to costco and i'll spend 25 dollars and i'll get about five pounds of stewing beef so i'll come home i'll cook all that up on sunday night i'll cook it all up and i'll, I'll just keep putting a lot of salt on it you know like a pretty good amount of salt so it tastes a little bit salty the beef tastes a little bit salty kind of dries my mouth out it's been drying my mouth out it's been like really hard for me to like <laughs> to like talk and, and make videos lately i don't know i mean if you've been here watching these videos then then you'll you'll kind of see that i've been you know having a little bit of um what, what's it called like like I'll, I'll start to get a dry mouth pretty quickly like like and, and, and that's fine. I mean, that's obviously, you know, you're, you're eating more salt. You're going to, you're going to have a little bit more, um, um, it, it's going to dry you out just a little bit more or whatever. But as I've been, as I've been doing this and as I've been like, you know, looking at things and watching things and, you know, trying to like gauge how certain parts of my body are starting to react to this. Wow. Wow. Uh, my, my feet would hurt when I was walking, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm just not feeling it. I feel lighter on my feet. And that's, that's an important thing because when you're suffering with joint pain and you're suffering with, you know, you know, like the, the, the fact of, you know, going from like, you know, 200 pounds, 210 pounds, 220 pounds when you're younger, adding a whole nother hundred, uh, you know, a whole nother hundred pounds plus on you, you're carrying that extra weight all the time. So, so you're feeling that the heaviness that that coincides with the, with the inflamed joints man like if your joints are inflamed and it hurts and you're either like i i feel <laughs> this is weird but i feel more flexible now that i'm now that i'm eating this like i feel oh gosh i feel so much better i do and like <laughs> this is crazy like i cannot believe eating meat for 2 weeks has literally made me feel 10 years younger like i feel good i i feel alert i feel stronger i feel like i've got energy i feel like i i, I don't feel like I, I i'm not i'm not in pain i'm not like suffering anymore i'm getting better sleep i'm waking up feeling alert in the morning and mind you i get up at like five in the morning without my alarm clock 
I, I get up without my alarm clock. I was doing that before, but I would just kind of feel like, oh, I'm so tired. But now I don't feel tired. I'm not getting the freaking headaches no more. I'm not. This is insane how good I feel doing this. So the things that are working for me is bacon. So we have this uh, we have this truck that comes every morning. And um, I told him I was starting a carnivore diet. So he's like, yeah, dude, I'll bring you five slices of bacon, you know. So I was like, cool, that works. So I'll eat them five slices of bacon instead of like these big elaborate, you know, carb filled freaking meals that I was spending $13 a day on. And it was just like, oh my gosh, I'll, I'll get this. Well, first is what happened is when I, when I started it, I was like, gosh, I would just go and get the, uh, the little street tacos off there. And I just, instead of eating the corn talk, uh, the corn, um, oh my goodness, man, the little, the little tortillas, the little corn tortillas, I would just dump, I would just eat all the freaking meat out of them and I just throw those away. And so he's like, yeah, dude, there's no reason to waste all that. I'll just bring you some bacon or something if you, if you want. And so, yeah. And he sells that to me for four bucks that just that just saved me so much freaking money every week that that like now i can just get four slices five slices of bacon for for like four bucks i'm like okay yeah thanks man that's awesome it's hot it's already cooked um it's always good they 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 cook this bacon like perfectly just the way i like it so i'm so i'm excited about that uh (laughs) the eggs i really do like the eggs you know with the butter you know i'm just putting like three tablespoons of butter in there uh frying up some eggs now i'm not doing those every day uh, and, and, and it's about six eggs, uh, like on Saturday mornings, I'll get up and make me six eggs. And that usually keeps me good until, so on Saturdays, I don't eat all the, all the steak chunks. I save those for work just so that I can have consistency throughout my work week. But on the weekends, yeah, just get up and make some eggs. And then maybe, you know, a little bit later, like fry up a chuck steak or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for ways to be able to maintain this diet. At, a, at an effective cost that's going to give me that, that's going to give me some bang for my buck my ultimate goal with this is to kind of get down to omad one meal a day um I, I was doing intermittent fasting for 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 about six months before and <laughs> i got down to like 214 pounds on that in like six months whereas i've already dropped down to like two or 318 from when i was doing that in 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 a in a much faster time and i'm like wow this is insane and my body feels better than it did when i was doing when i was doing intermittent fasting when i was doing the intermittent fasting i was still eating all that so i was still having the inflamed you know joints and all of that but now i'm getting to a point where where like i'll i'll go to work and i'll come home and i'll feel good after work and and i'll and i'll eat you know like a little bit later you know probably around six o'clock or whatever and then and then i'm good for for the rest of the night i'll wake up and i'll do my uh do my thing again this this is incredible like i feel incredible i feel alert i feel definitely more hydrated i'm drinking more water i'm i'm feeling more uh uh i i don't feel like like my my joints feel better they don't feel stiff they actually feel elastic they feel elastic um <laughs> they're, they're more elastic now like they like i i feel like i can stretch better like i don't feel like all um i i don't feel all tense and i don't feel all like oh because at my job because I'm, I'm maintenance you know so i'll either be under a vehicle i'll be up in the air fixing stuff like in uncomfortable i'm i'm usually in uncomfortable positions that definitely add to that strain on my body whereas like now it's like man i I did my job with such ease today it was so incredible i was like wow this is so good like i feel so good i can move around i can get up i can get down this is incredible like i like this i i've never felt this good on for for a long time like i haven't felt this good in a long time and i feel i feel incredible and and that's why i waited a couple weeks before i did a video on this because i wanted to see if this was just like if this was something that's consistent if this is going to be like yeah dude this is consistent and it's getting better and and i've been trying to be like um really really straight to the point on it you know i did do I did eat some Costco pizza like in my fourth day in. I was like, I was just really craving it on a Saturday. I started on a Wednesday and I made it to Saturday and I was like, man, I got to have a Costco pizza. And so I went and I got the Costco pizza. Normally I'd eat like four slices of that 
I, I was able to eat two and I was just like, yeah, I'm done. Like I, it doesn't even taste good anymore. It didn't even taste good. So I was like, kind of tasted like a little chemically. And <laughs> not, I mean like, not like soap or anything from Costco. It just, it just kind of tasted like, I was like, Oh man, it's like, you could just taste like the, it's almost like you could taste all the extra products and stuff that they put in there. And it just didn't taste, it didn't taste natural anymore. You, you know what I mean? Like it, it didn't taste like, like once you're, once you're so used to eating all that carbs and all that junk food and everything, I think your body just kind of turns off your like taste buds or whatever, because it just, it doesn't taste good anymore. So, I mean, like when I'm eating meat, oh my gosh, every freaking bite just tastes incredible. It tastes incredible. I'm like, wow, this tastes so good. Like the gristle and fat off a of steak. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And, and your body's like craving that. So is what my body's doing right now cuz I can feel these changes. Like I can feel my body just in my just in my um um just in just in my uh, my my digestive system. Like I can feel it just feels better. It feels more free flowing. It feels more like I'm like I'm able to like I said, I'd sit there for like 25 minutes and now I'm done in 3. Like that's incredible. And I don't feel constipated. I don't feel gut pain. Like I don't feel gut pain anymore like I used to. Like when I would be like, oh my gosh, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm not feeling any freaking gut pain at all. Uh, hunger pains. Now when I'm hungry, I'm just like, oh gosh, maybe I should eat something. When before I'd be like, I'd be like sick. I'd be like, oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. I just want to eat. And and it's like, to see how much this stuff is a, has, has changed my body and how it's changed like the physiology of everything that's like going on in me right now. This is incredible. Like this is insane. Like I did a lot of intermittent fasting. I did the keto, you know, and, and I went on these things pretty religiously. The carnivore is incredible. And I and I think, you know, just like my my Scandinavian DNA and all of that stuff just kind of you know, like I don't know, maybe it's in my DNA that just like meat being a carnivore is just better for my for my dna for my body for for the way i'm for the way i'm built and man i i really enjoy it so i'm i'm gonna experiment with this um and just stick to you know like 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 uh like like animal products because that's pretty much what they tell you to stick to is like animal products i mean there's like some like not necessarily vegetables but stuff that i don't want to give up like mushrooms I don't want to give up mushrooms, so I've been researching that to see if I could do that. I haven't eaten any yet. I'm, I'm planning on doing that tonight. I was going to get me a, you know, a nice size chuck steak and throw some mushrooms in there and just, you know, like a bunch of butter, cook that up and, and eat that and, and see how that, you know, how I feel after that. Because then I'll essentially go into my like, because because technically I am kind of intermittent fasting with this meal as, or with this as well. So I'm trying to eat everything in a, in a before six o'clock or whatever so that I can stay in this like little loop or whatever. And um, so I'll see how that reacts with my body, you know, like the mushrooms, I'll introduce something like mushrooms, or maybe, you know, one day I'll do like, uh, like some burger patties with some eggs in there. And then I'll throw like some some jalapenos on there. I don't want to mix a whole bunch of stuff together, because I want to be able to track and understand how that's going to affect my body and how that's going to affect the overall outcome of what I'm doing. But like, I'll, I'll try like, you know, like some onions or something. Or, and, and that's my thing. If I'm going to have a cheat day, it's going to be fresh. It's going to be like a, like a fresh food or, you know, nothing, nothing from nothing, none of the, none of the garbage food, none of the garbage food. It'll be something fresh and I'll be like, man, dang, you know what, man, I've had a really good week. Maybe I'm going to have some strawberries this week or, you know, something that's going to be like a good snack. And I think as an American and has, as people, we've just kind of got away from, a lot of the stuff that's actually good for us and substituted it for this cheap, easy, you know, carb carbs and all this garbage that like they didn't eat back in the forties and fifties, man, they didn't eat this kind of stuff. And now here we are just, you know, soda pop, soda pop, soda pop, you know, you get, you get a case of soda pop, you go through, through that in a day. <clears throat> like I know how it feels. And I'm telling you guys, man, if you give this a shot, um, and I mean like, I've been watching this doctor. His name's like what, Doctor Ken Barry or something over on YouTube, and um, and because because I saw a post from my brother on Facebook, because I'd been thinking about trying carnivore for a while, 
and and I and I mean like I I I already had a pretty pretty decent sized meat intake, you know, just to my my regular eating habits, anyways. But my brother's like, yeah, dude, I started this. I've lost this much amount of weight in like thirty days, and I'm freaking stoked. And I was like, I'm right there. I'm gonna do it. You know, I actually prayed. You know, I I like prayed too. I was like, you know, God, I, I just need, you know, something to help me to to get my energy back and stuff and and it's like and then like right after that i see that post from my brother and i'm like all right you know i'm gonna give it a try and wow dude this is insanely incredible so this this is uh this is pretty cool so i i I do recommend giving this a shot giving this a try if if you need to like research it a little bit you know do that or whatever but the, i would start you know kind of easy you know like i did go go buy like go buy like 20 25 dollars worth of you know like the the stewing beef you know you can just cook that up you know salt it up pretty good it tastes really good i promise you um and and then do some eggs do some eggs you know eggs are really good i mean obviously they go with everything just do some eggs do like six eggs see how that makes your belly feel um do do like the steak with the eggs you know if you can do that um, you, cause you can use those, those steak chunks, you can throw them in there and you can cook them up and then you can separate them like I do. And then you can just, you know, heat them up, throw some eggs, scramble up a bunch of eggs, mix them together and just eat that and see how that makes you feel. See if that will keep you full. The first few days are going to be a little bit tough. They, they are because your, your, your body has to, your body has to kind of reset like it does. It has to start, you know, getting rid of all the all the other stuff and you're gonna have those days when you're gonna feel like oh man i need the carbs to recharge my battery just tough it out just tough it out hopefully it doesn't take too long um hopefully you can get through it pretty quick and and get on with your routine and hopefully it doesn't slow you down but but plan you know make a plan for this make a plan for like hey man i might have some things you know that are gonna happen like i might have some downtime you know like 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 in the first week or whatever so 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 plan for that don't 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 schedule like a don't be like oh yeah dude i got like uh, a movie night one night i got a concert and i got don't freaking plan anything weird like that you know just do just just plan like netflix netflix and a you know netflix week or something you know maybe not netflix because then you're gonna want popcorn i I don't know find something find something to do that's not going to be like something that is going to require you to be awake because you because you might need that rest while your body's trying to recuperate and and rebuild itself because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to your body's gonna have to relearn all the negative stuff that you taught it so you're gonna have to you are gonna have some off days is basically is what i'm saying you're gonna have some off days but if you stick through it like two weeks now and and everybody's body's different everybody's body's different and like the 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 common advice that i'm hearing is you know three weeks to to six weeks you know try to stay in there for like 30 to 90 days to give it a to give it a shot some people you know i mean like some people like in this day and age man if you don't see results fast it, it's harder to stick with things but i'm going to document my thing in a couple of weeks i'll do another video and i'll and i'll let you guys see the results obviously you'll see my transformation because i do video game content every single day so you'll be able to check in and you'll be able to see that transformation you'll be able to see if i'm if i'm looking thinner or if i'm feeling happy or if i'm feeling excited if i'm feeling alert you're going to see these changes like you're going to notice and and that's that's cool you can go back a couple weeks ago and watch some of those videos and i can already see a transformation so if i can already see a transformation i'm sure you can as well Uh, and that's why i waited like like i said that's why i waited a couple weeks because i wanted to make sure that like this was actually working for me or this was actually giving me tangible benefits to where i could talk about it or make a video about it now this is mainly a gaming channel but i like to cover whatever i want to cover whenever i want to cover it you know what i mean like the youtube algorithm sometimes it actually it never likes me but whatever we'll we'll, uh we'll uh we'll we'll be here we'll be here so all right my friends if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything else, feel free to hit that up in the comment section. If you have any questions, I definitely do my best to answer questions. I wake up an hour early just to read my comments from my fans and from my friends so that I can respond to you. And if and if I just click the heart button, just know that that means I read your comment. And um, if, if I didn't have time to answer it, 
I, I'm sorry. I will try to get back to it. So, all right, guys, we'll see you later. Thank you for watching.